Hey guys, before we get into the setup tour, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, all the support and subs I've received recently, um, even also from the beginning too, I, I really appreciate it. Um, all of you guys, thank you so much. Um, I never thought I'd actually hit like even eight, like 50 or 100 subs. I mean, this is just, this is truly amazing and I'm really happy. And I, again, I just want to say thank you guys so much. And um, yeah, and enjoy the rest of the video. So I'm re-recording this for a second time because after watching the video, my PC fan is just way too loud and very annoying. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this again, kind of quick. So let's get into it. So main monitor, I'm using a Asus Predator 240 Hertz and 27 inch display. And very nice, I love the monitor. I uh, feel fantastic for um, competitive FPS games like CS or um, Apex or Valorant, whatever you like to play. So yeah, that's my main monitor. And then my secondary monitor, it's just a regular like Acer 60 Hertz uh, HD. Uh, nothing too special about it, gets the job done. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I, you know, I'm fortunate that I'm, I'm able to have two monitors. It makes it a lot easier video, video editing and also streaming, which I do need to do more um so yeah that's that's like my two main monitors and we have my keyboard so the keyboard i'm currently using is from mode designs this is the mode 80 i have some i have a gmk laser uh keycap set on here very nice so on the main switches on the board i'm using banana split switches which feel very nice and then all my f row i'm using epsilon switches which are very smooth they're a little bit more uh they acquire, they acquire a little bit more force to press in and actuate, while the banana splits are more on the softer side. Um, so yeah, I really like it, feels really good. Let me know if you guys are interested, in maybe a review or my thoughts on this keyboard or some switches. Um, let me know if you think that could be interesting. And then the USB cord I'm using, uh, I forgot what website I got it from, but this is just a custom uh, USB-C cable, nothing too special. Um, yeah, it gets the job done. I think it's like six feet or something. It's super long. So yeah, it gets the job done. Now the mice I'm currently using. So right now I'm currently working on a review for the EC3 and I'm also using the XLA V2 Mini uh, just kind of as a side-by-side -side comparison. So when I do get in the review, um, I can easily make a comparison between these two mice. And then of course I have my Final Mouse Starlight 12 in the small edition, which is my I would say it's my favorite mouse uh, all the time. I know there's a lot of QC issues with these mice, and for the most part, um, I haven't really experienced too many, except with my original one. But um, besides that, they have worked great for me. And I really just love the shape. I mean, I the only shape I would say that's uh, on par or even better, personally for me, is the Zunkunig M2K. I really love that mouse, great for fingertip, and it's super light. So that's currently the mice I'm using right now. And uh, yeah. And then over here, we got a little bungee. This is just a regular Razer uh, bungee, 20 bucks on Amazon. Gets the job done, really like it. And then I got a little USB extender here. It just makes it easier to plug um, like other mice in and out. So yeah, I just have it right there. And then the mouse that I'm using. So right now I'm currently using the Saturn and the Notch of Customs Edition, which as you can see, I mean, this thing is just, look at it, it's gigantic. Great control pad, I'm currently working on a review right now. Love the pad. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm using right now. Granted, I'm gonna be switching to another pad shortly after this, just because, you know, always, always need to get on to another pad, you know how it is my monitor stand. So currently I'm using the same monitor stand for both monitors. They're like super cheap, like Amazon 30 buck uh, monitor stands. Uh, I do not recommend these at all. These are like loosely pieces of crap. I just bought them because they're super cheap, but if you do want like a quality monitor stand, you like, you don't have to worry about, I'd recommend actually like putting a good chunk of change down because these things are, these things are so ass like, if you're if you need to clean up your desk or constantly like move the monitor around um i've actually had these things like fall off my desk or kind of like break but um <laughs> but it gets the job done so i'm too lazy to get a new one and do all that so you know it works it is what it is and then for the webcam i'm using so i'm using the logitech like c9 something something basically it's their super cheap like hd like 
um, cheap one. It's uh, super cheap. It's like 40 bucks. So yeah, that's what I'm using. And then I'm also using a little stand for that. That's like 20 bucks on Amazon. <clears throat> super cheap to get. So yeah, that's my that's my little webcam setup. I do want to upgrade, but for now, this you know this gets the job done. All right, then we have my mic and headset setup. So right now, I'm using the Blue Yeti. Um, honestly, I like it. Uh, I think the Blue Yeti gets a lot of flack, but I don't know. Works out good for me. I got the little bundle like two years ago where you can get the arm and also the mic with it. So. Yeah, I mean, I've, there's always better mics out there, right? And also, like, XLR ones, which I do eventually want to get into. But for now, this gets the job done. And, yeah, I mean, it, wor it works great for me, so I'm just going to keep it like that. Got a little Virginia Rocks out, you know, Danny Duncan. Got to show the support, the love, you know. And then for the headset I'm currently using, I'm currently using the D DT990 Pro 250-ohm version. Uh, this, in my opinion, is kind of overkill. Um... But honestly, I do kind of like it. I like how it's open back. So like when I do talk in my microphone, I can kind of hear myself. It's like, for example, if you do use like IEMs, you can't really hear yourself. Like I do, the one thing I do like about IEMs is that they're very light and just kind of easy. They're like very minimal, you know? I, I like IEMs a lot, but I don't know. Ever since I tried these open backs, they feel really good. The, <clears throat> And the DAC I'm using to power this headphone is the iFi Zen V2. Uh, great DAC. I can power this guy, no issues. And yeah, I really like this little setup I got going on. Sounds great. And yeah, I really like it. So we are currently underneath my desk. This is where my PC is. I know it's kind of awkward to have it right in the middle here, but this is kind of like the only place I could put it where all the cables can kind of like connect and not have really any issues because if i put it over here in the corner some cables aren't long enough it's just it's a whole thing so i just put it in the middle kind of annoying because your feet are there but you know it is what it is uh, i know it's kind of hard to see but um so in this pc so this is a omen pc i got like in 2017 2018 and this is a this is a geforce rtx 2080 um gets the job done in my opinion it's still a good graphics card and as an intel core i7 i upgraded the ram these are two 16 gigabytes of uh that like i think it's like i core or something it's on amazon uh what's that one company called they make like really shitty gaming products uh, i forgot what they call it i'll put it i'll put it in the video I forgot what they call it it's like a vengeance pro something uh, i turned off all the rgb these rgb also turn off all the RGBs. RGB is really annoying. So yeah, also this cable management. Look how beautiful the cable management is. I mean, it's just truly, truly beautiful. Don't, don't harass me in the comments. Uh, got a little dongle here, a little dongle for more mice because I totally don't have an addiction. So yeah, that's kind of like the undercarriage of my gaming setup. So that's what I got going on over here. Then kind of lastly over here, this is just a third party dock for the Nintendo Switch. I have plugged into my main monitor. So yeah, that's that's what that is over there. <laughs> got a little box Infinity Mice. I just got this today. I will make a review on this um, in a minute, but currently working on a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, give me a minute. Got some plate stuff. Don't like that. It's line. That's great stuff. Water bottle, stay hydrated, you know what I mean? Um, here's a little, here's a little zoom out of my whole PC setup I got going on. So this is where I mainly game. This is what it looks like. And then I got my side desk over here, a little trash can filled with tissues. That's kind of sick. Um, so this is my debt, like my drawer. Uh, and here I just have like keycaps, cables, IMs, wallet, stuff like that. Stuff I can like easily access. Uh, keycap holder csgo knife i know kind of cringe i just use it to open up boxes and stuff so yeah that's that's my main pc setup i got this little extra table for like schoolwork and stuff like that and the drawer so yeah this is where i game oh yeah I'll, oh i almost forgot to talk about my chair um low key kind of great behind this it's a little overkill kind of nerdy too kind of you know it's kind of nerdy uh i wish i kind of got an office chair um but you know what it is what it is this is a Secret Lab gaming chair. It's a Game of Thrones edition. 
I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I just thought this looked cool, the black and white. And honestly, yeah, it feels really premium, like the quality is for sure there. This is the most comfortable. Um, I would say it's not the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. It is, it is, it is comfortable though. I'm not trying to downplay it, but if you do want a good like chair you're gonna sit in for hours, probably get an office chair. You don't have to get a whole nerdy <laughs> gaming chair like I did, but I don't know. I just wanted to at the time. And yeah, so this is my chair. Very cool, so yeah. Now my mouse collection. So this is where I keep all my mice, genuinely in this area. So yeah, a lot of mice. So this is the basket of death of doom. Basically I put all the mice, I don't really care about it that much in here. It's like HK gaming, glorious stuff. Um, got some G Wolf stuff. Um, G Wolves, honestly, I don't know. Flame me for this, but I don't really like their products too much. Like the first like month or two of using them, they're good, right? But after a while, the clicks kind of go to shit. So yeah, I have some products in here I haven't reviewed yet. Let me know if you're interested in maybe like a glorious review or something. Got a bunch of stuff in there. Then we get into the more premium mice. But you're like, where are the mice? Well, they're in these boxes. So. For example, the Danny Duncan box. We open this up, boom. We have the Pulsar X Lite and the Pulsar XV2 uh, Mini. Very good mouse. And then MZ1 Wireless, the Rocket Jump Ninja mouse, which of course is the, is the best mouse in the world. Um, so yeah, have that in there. Good mice. Then we have another Danny Duncan box. And we pull this guy out, boom. Open it up. We have a the Game Sense and the Viper V2. I like both of these mice. The Game Sense meta the clicks are a little mushy, um, but I do like the shape. A little too big for me, if I'm being picky. Um, but overall, I think it is a good mouse. And then basically in here we just have like the G Pro Wireless, a couple other mice. And here it's just this is this one's just filled up with like Final Mice and End Game stuff like that. Thought that was it, you're dead wrong. We go up here, boom. We pull this guy out. We got more mice. So this basket is like favorites. Like these are where I put my favorite mice in here. So S2, like love this mouse, good mouse. I have my Final Mouse 10s edition in the medium size in there. Boom. Then I got my Shroud G305 in there. Another Final Mouse small Poseidon. Then I have another final mouse. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm not a final boy. Okay, I'm not a, I'm, what do you call it? I'm not a simp for final mouse. I just, I like their mice, okay? Don't, you know, don't bully me, all right? And then I have the Ultrite S2. This is custom painted by yours truly. You got a little Kakashi on there. I love Kakashi. Also, uh, Zebra Gang Power Cord, you know, got to represent. Um, and then the Zunkunig, this is my favorite mouse. I know I just said the final mouse was my favorite mouse, but this is my favorite, then it's the final mouse. I do think the final mouse is a little bit more comfortable because claw grip, but this is, this is the best. Then we have some other mice, Logitech. Uh, let me know if I'm gonna get some reviews on these guys. Uh, custom painting, uh, Viper, Viper Ultimate, the Wired. So yeah, a lot of mice. So this is the favorites. These are all my favorites. Boom in here. Uh, mouse of death basket. Some other good mouse mices, but favorites in here. So you're probably wondering, where do I put all my keyboards? Well, if we move this bag out of the way, boom, right here. In this drawer, we have all my keyboards. I used to have a lot more, um, but I sold them on eBay because they are not good. Like for example, the GK61. I mean, if you're a casual, it gets the job done, it's fine. But literally almost every like keyboard on Amazon or whatever, it's just a like GK61 clone. So yeah, so I, I sold a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. So this is the Apex Pro. Uh, when I was a professional Fortnite gamer, this is what, this is what I mainly used. Um, super fast OmniPoint switches. I know there is the, uh, what's it called? What's that new? I forgot the name of that new keyword that's really fast came out. Uh, that one's better. I, I do want to get that one, but you have to like pre order it and it's expensive. And blah, blah, blah. Might get that later, but I don't really care. I'm not that competitive. So, yeah, but Apex Pro, love this keyboard. Great keyboard, super fast switches. 
Um, does it sound the best? No, but who cares if you're gaming, right? But I don't know, I kind of care about sound, so. Then this is just a keyboard case, uh, 80%, so like, if I want to put my mode 80 away, I can just slap in here, put it away. I'll have uh, boxes from mode designs in here. Got a little Apex Pro th stand thing, okay. If we pull this out, boom, hold up. So this here, I think it's my mode 65. So I unzip it. So this is my mode 65. This is using Epsilon switches, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Epsilon. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm using a aluminum plate. I have a little brass key. Cloud9, this is my favorite esports team, so. Cloud9, you know. Uh, I've lubed and filmed these switches. Uh, I need to relube the space bar. But yeah, this is my mode 65. Love this keyboard. I just kind of like the mode 80. Makes it a little easier. Extra binds, you know. Um, so I don't know. I want to try to. Want to try 80. Then in this one, this is my. Hold up, let me. Let's this is my KBD fans 65 or 67. Um, KBD fans 67 V3. So uh, if you want to get into the custom keyboard market, um, I think this is a great entryway. I highly recommend getting this keyboard if you do want to get into custom keyboards. I really think this is bang for your buck. And also it sounds, hold up, let me, hold up, hold up. It also sounds really good, like, hold up. So the switches I'm using these are Aqua Aqua Kings, lubed and filmed by yours truly. And it feels really good. Um, as I'm using their their I was using their own KBD67 um, uh, stabilizers, they're screwing filmed and if you lube them, they work great and sound good. So yeah, so if you want to get into custom keys, highly recommend this keyboard. Uh, let me know if you want to see any of these keyboards in a review. Um, yeah, I think it could be interesting. So that's my keyboard and my mice kind of collection over here. Also, short little bed tour. So this is my bed. I uh, got a lot of pillows. Got two blankets. This one underneath is a Emo. Um, sorry, Mimo. This is a Mimo blanket that I've had since I was like two years old. Love that blanket. Then I have a super comfy um, blanket here. Just keeps it nice and warm. So yeah, a little bed tour, and if we come over here, got a little uh, hub station over here for all the stuff to plug in. Recently got a Steam Deck. Let me know if you want to see a review on that. I've been using it around for a little more than two weeks now. Um, been testing a lot of games on it, seeing what works offline and online. And yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. So yeah, and then got my AirPods over here. Um, got a little case, Virginia Rocks, you know what I mean? Can't lose those. So then all my mouse pads I keep in my closet right here. So as you can see, I have a lot of mouse pads. A lot of them are on backlog. I am trying to work on getting a video done on them. But as of right now, it's gonna it's gonna be a minute. So yeah. Uh so yeah, like the Octagon Plus, which refuses to roll up tightly, I got over here. Got a lot of other pads over here, a lot of um Artisans, Artisan Raiden, Artisan Hot Hot, so I gotta work on that. And then you have a bunch of other pads, like the scan pads over here, weirdly similar to the vents or ice over here. So, yeah, all this stuff over here. We'll be working, I know I keep saying this, I will be working on, on a review for that too. But as you can see, my backlog is pretty intensive. Got a lot of stuff I do have to review. And then also, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I do have the uh, the Odin Gaming Andromedy Gaming Mousepad. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, you're probably wondering, you're probably wondering why I'm even mentioning this mousepad. Well, if you ordered it like when it just like came out, um, you basically they basically stopped making it because it was like super rough and i don't know if the factory i guess messed up on making it so kind of rare to have this low-key kind of trying to flex but yeah um so yeah uh this is all my mouse pads got a little more there custom that's this box is my um that is my what is it it is the 
Minerva, this is the Minerva custom mouse pad in this box. So yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to remember that. So yeah, these are all my mouse pads. You're probably wondering what are all these clothes. Basically my closet is like the, you know how I had that basket for the, the death basket for mice? Well, my closet is the death closet of clothes my mom does not want to wear. So she shoves all of her crap in my closet. So <laughs> yeah, um, it is what it is. This is just, but yeah, so I clean this all up. I put all my mouse pads in here. So yeah, that's basically my setup. I almost forgot to mention, uh, sorry if you hear screaming, it's my neighbors. Uh, this is my TV. Don't know what, it's like a, it's a Samsung one. Gets the job done. And then over here, I have uh, some PS5 controllers, Nintendo Switch, and my PS5. So yeah, a little setup for my TV. Yeah. So that was the setup tour. I know it was a little different kind of style of video, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Seeing kind of my room, <laughs> I know if I, it was a setup, but you know, it was kind of more like my room. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Getting a little kind of insight, I guess, into my uh, like personal life, kind of, you know, like because I basically showcased my room kind of. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, I just want to thank you guys again thank you so much for 100 subscribers and all the support it really really makes me happy so so if you guys did enjoy the video please like and subscribe and thank you for watching boy he got a glide huh? oh my god boy that boy on top uh, sip and walk uh, make my heart stop uh, what are they